once you see the inside, you'll be speechless. Sansui SP 100 IEX 79,000 Yen X2 A high-end speaker in a compact size. There are three models, the 100i with a titanium black finish, the 100i EX with a walnut mirror finish, and the 100i EXW with a white mirror finish. The latter two models are 24,000 yen more expensive, but they are a little heavier and have a harder surface, making them more durable and less likely to ring. The sound quality, sound image, and sound field are all improved. The measured weight of the 100i EX is 20.3 kilograms, which is unusually heavy for this size. Front and rear round baffles. Six-sided finish. The exterior is simple, but the interior is surprisingly elaborate. All six sides are made of 20 mm particle board, veneered on both sides to a thickness of 22 mm, but some parts are 42 mm thick. Inside there is an inner baffle, which is made by cutting two 20 mm thick layers of 40 mm particle board into complex shapes, and can be thought of as a stronger version of the inner baffle found in the Pioneer S-101. The back panel is removable with 10 screws, but the joint is wide enough and double-wrapped with cork packing to completely prevent air leakage and crackling. The back panel is fitted with a base reflex duct and two 50mm square Douglas fir boards. The network is hollowed out and embedded in the board, with the gaps filled with felt. This is a deluxe version with two coils, two huge, super high-grade film capacitors EU Sigma, three small film capacitors, and one electrolytic capacitor. Because it has a very complicated structure, I was afraid that if I removed the unit, it would not go back in place, so I only took a peek. The woofer has a double magnet and a magnetic shielding cover, the size of which is about 140. The frame is die-cast, but it has four 30 by 25 mm square pillar legs protruding backwards, which are attached to the X-shaped frame of the inner baffle. There is also a long screw in the center, but for some reason this is left floating and not tightened. The tweeter has a Phi 80 and Phi 75 double magnet, which is attached to an 8mm thick die cast angle, and the angle is attached to the top plate partially 42mm thick. If that was all there was, the reaction from the diaphragm would cause it to wobble and the rise would be weak, so two brass pieces of wood are attached to the back of the angle as weights to counter the reaction. In short, if you see inside this speaker, you will be speechless. The terminals are also unprecedented. It's a huge OFC gold-plated amplifier that can fit any thick cord, but it sticks out directly from the back plate, and to protect it, the terminal board is equipped with a large terminal guard. This terminal is extremely easy to use. It is also useful for amateur DIYers. Looking at the impedance characteristics, the duct is tuned to 40 Hz, and the frequency response has a wide range at both 1M and 3M. There are some bumps, but the low and high frequencies are well accented, and the vocal range is also slightly boosted. The impressive bass is powerful and rich, beyond what you would expect from its size. The high frequencies are also delicate and sharp. Depending on how you use it, it can perform better than a 30 cm three-way amplifier. The 100i is a better buy, but when you put them side by side, the 100i EX is more appealing. It may have been designed with the aim of creating a speaker that is both affordable and attractive in design. It has a two-way configuration, and in addition to the standard titanium black enclosure finish, there are other variations such as a pure white piano finish and a walnut veneer urethane finish, and it is called the Milano series. The price for the titanium black version is 79,000 yen. The woofer is 21 centimeters in diameter, and the tweeter is a diamond-coated dome type. 
The front baffle has no visible set screws, which is another characteristic of the structure. The speaker unit is fixed to an inner baffle inside the baffle, so that the front baffle surface does not vibrate directly. Ideally, only sound comes from the speaker diaphragm, and this is called the inner frame mounting method. This has a clean design and great benefits. The sound tends to be mild and relaxing, with a new retro-style moist and meaty mid-low range as the bass. If you are looking for a clear and sharp accent, you will be dissatisfied. The appeal of this speaker is its mature, stable balance, the high frequencies are rounded, but the texture is natural and pleasant to the ear. The low frequencies are elastic and well-rounded. For this size, it has a very satisfying volume. The time has finally come when this type of speaker is appearing in Japan. I often hear people saying that they want a small, well-rounded model. I would like to see this variation in addition to the large 598. The high-quality finish is magnificent. The dedicated stand is also luxurious. The interior has an intricate structure, and you can see that they have made every effort to suppress resonance. Although it is small, it would need to be combined with a high-end amplifier. The strong low frequencies are attractive. The high frequencies have a sense of energy and express the sound image clearly. If a sense of openness was added, the sense of scale would also be expanded. Vocal music sounds clear. The resolution of the low mid frequencies is also quite high. This is an expensive system, 